Well, for a project that aims to unite the nation on one super-fast internet platform, the NBN is proving rather divisive. This week's release of a new corporate plan did little to bring its supporters and detractors together. I asked NBN co-chief Mike Quigley whether the project was still on track despite costs rising and a slowing rollout. Well, Mike Quigley, Paul Fletcher, the Liberal politician and former Optus executive, says you're hopelessly behind target and uh, that if you work for the private sector, you'd be sacked. What's your response to that? Um, well, I think, Alan, let me first of all, if I can, stress up front. When you look at this project um, from an overall sense, and we are one year into a 10-year build on a 30-year project. Uh, that project is running, I'd have to say, largely on track, given the fact that we have had some delays. Our um, deal with Telstra took about nine months longer to finalise. So if you take into account that nine month shift and you look at the other parameters of the deal, the fact that our wholesale prices are right where we wanted them to be, to provide retail prices that are very competitive, that the internal rate of return is still above 7%. Uh, I think overall the project's running as well as you could expect. So are you saying that, are you saying that none of the delays and none of the cost blowout is a stuff up, that it's all deliberate? Well, let's, let's unpack um, those cost increases in both capex and No, but and what's the answer? Are you, are you saying that it's all deliberate and none of it's a stuff-up? Are you, are, you, are you admitting to any stuff-up at all? I, I will absolutely say that there's some things we underestimated in our original um, uh, December 2010 corporate plan. There's some things we overestimated. Those largely balance out. If you look at the 4.6 billion, if you like, increase in adding the, the increases in capex and opex, which is not, a, not a, a reasonable thing to do, but let's even say you do that. How do you explain that? Well, the Optus deal that we did was not in the original uh, 2010 corporate plan. Uh, that adds about two billion, half of it, half, about half of it in CapEx, about half of it in OpEx, because we're paying money to, um, to Optus for the migration of their customers. And of course, we have to spend money on CapEx connecting them. The internal rate of return calculation that you mentioned, 7.1%, uh, assumes a terminal value in 2040, but that's irrelevant, isn't it? I mean, it's not going to be scrapped in 2040 at all. It's just going to keep going after that time. Uh, yes, of course. And in fact, um, this will be a, um, a, a very valuable company in due course. Uh, but uh, it's not our job to determine what the capital structure of the company will be, um, really from 2021 beyond. All we can do is build a corporate plan that describes what we think is a reasonable terminal value so that we can provide a realistic internal rate of return. Well, in fact, from 2021 onwards, um, it's going to be a tremendous cash-generating machine. I mean, you're going to be uh, pro earning profit margins of 50 to 70, uh, 50 to 77 percent. I mean, you're going to be more, NBN's going to be more profitable than Telstra's ever been, isn't it? Um, the the, the um, company could generate, in fact, uh, could generate very large gross margins. It will generate very la gr large gross margins because there's a big upfront capital investment, but the operating costs of the company are relatively low in comparative terms. But what that means, um, uh, Alan, and I think this is a very important point for everybody to understand, our job in NBN Co is not to maximise profit, it's to get wholesale prices down as fast as we can. And that's the discussions we're having with the ACCC, that's what the company's been set up to do, is to build a network as efficiently as we can uh, and to provide a small return to the government and then to get wholesale prices as low as we possibly can, as fast as we can. And that's, that's what our job is. Yeah, but I mean, the NBN, it's going to be this colossal gorilla um, monopoly owner of the nation's data highway. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, it's it, sure it'll be regulated, but I mean, regulation can only go so far. Yeah, but uh, the, the, company has, the company has an objective, uh, which is to provide a wholesale network as efficiently and cost effectively as it can with the lowest possible prices. That's what the raison d'etre of the company is all about. It's not to maximise profit. And remember, unlike the old industry structure, we will not be competing with our customers. We will be providing a platform on which retail competition between the Telstras, the Optuses, the IINets, APTs, the Vodafones can take place. Our job is to make sure we occupy the smallest possible segment of the value chain and to provide a good platform on which uh, competition can prosper. Of course, it could all change uh, with the election next year. 
Um, Telstra is now trying to hurry up with the building of the transit network that connects the point of interconnects that you're going to have because they want to get as much of uh, the cash from you uh, as they can before the election. Is that a good idea? Uh, well, we of course look, look at those things from our perspective, given the objectives that the government uh, has set for us. Uh, we're building the transit network, in fact we're building the whole network as fast as we can. As we know, there's been some uh, delays up front in um, obviously doing the Telstra deal and uh, getting the best value we possibly could for taxpayers in construction costs. Uh, but given, those, uh, the, given the slightly slower start, we're obviously keen to build as fast as we can. And of course, even you quoted Mr Fletcher at the front, uh, Mr Fletcher's keen for us to go faster because he's crit criticising us for not going fast enough. <laughs> But um, uh, at the point of the election next year, whenever it is, is it going to be possible, do you think, for the coalition government, if assuming there is one, to actually cancel the whole thing and go back to a, a fibre to the node uh, network? Will that be even possible? Yeah, of course, it's always possible to change direction. Um, it's possible to, to stop things um, from as they're running today. So that's possible. We, have, we certainly have not attempted to lock in anybody. In fact, it would be irresponsible of those of us in the company to try and do that. So we've uh, tried to negotiate the best commercial deals we could with putting aside um, any questions about elections or not. That's not, we simply can't factor that into our thinking. We try to do commercial deals that are sensible, that leave as much flexibility uh, for our shareholder as possible. We'll have to leave it there. Thanks very much, Mike, quickly. Thank you. Thank you, Alan.